You guys, I am so excited to be back with a Horizon update because we've got so many amazing features. Okay, there's only three, but let's go through them real quick. Number one, a couple weeks ago, they just started moving like every world to web and mobile. What? That means like you can play Horizon Worlds for any public world. It's cool, it's awesome. Lots of creators are starting to see their worlds on mobile. The other minor feature that was in the footnotes today is they've added a four decimal point fog density, which means you can get more refined fog density, which is also super fantastic. Um, and so super encourage you to try using that out and see how you can get fog looking in your world. And the most important one, the biggest one, the craziest one, the thing that changes Horizon forever in version 167 that just came out today is they've added variable groups, which is the new name for player persistent variables. And so all PPVs have been moved into these new variable groups. And we're gonna talk about exactly what that means but this is insane. So like, here's what you need to know. Like right off the bat, you can have up to 600 variables in your world now. Um, and that's because you can have six variable groups and each of those variable groups can have 100 persistent variables. So they've started by taking your entire world's persistent variables, moving that into its own persistent variable group for that world. And then the next crazy part of this is you can use that persistent variable group in your other world. So like if you have, let's say Murder Manor, and then you go and create Murder Manor 2, you can use the same persistent variables there and be like, hey, you have did this over there. Now we can say you can do this over here. And like it could unlock a whole separate like wing of the house or something, whatever you wanna do. Um, and so we like to think, imagine the RPG ca capabilities because you can now utilize these variables across multiple worlds. Now 600 is a limit. There is like, that's a lot, of, that's a lot, that's a lot, but it is a limit. And the number six is also important here because that's not a lot. Six is kind of small. So if you have six worlds with their own variable groups and you want them all to share variable groups or share the variables, I highly recommend you create a brand new variable group, transition the data into that new variable group from each of those worlds and start using that variable group. So you only have one variable group that's really being used and your old variable data, you'd have two in each world, right? Old variable data that gets transitioned to the new one. If you don't know how to do that, join us in Discord, guys. Uh, this is very active. We we do need like the engagement on YouTube. So if you wanna leave a comment, like the video, heck, you can even dislike it. YouTube loves engagement and we do too. So if you can do that, but please join us in Discord. This is a great place to ask questions, learn about updates like this and uh, share ideas. This uh, enables a few features that we thought we'd point out to you, questing across worlds. So we uh, tried this out uh, in the early beta, which I'm not even supposed to tell you about, but anyway, vidu.com is a world we made. And in there, you can collect quests completed as you visit different worlds in the viduverse. And so um, that's also really cool, relatively easy to set up. Definitely encourage you to give that a try so you can encourage people to visit all of your worlds. Um, you can track users' total visits or time spent in your worlds across your universe. Um, you could do like items collected and store, you know, indexes of different items or just set them to true, I guess would be even better. And so you could uh, have a RPG game where people have collected certain items and then they have those items in every world that they go to of yours um, using asset spawning. So very, very cool stuff. Building multi-world RPGs is now actually possible. I know we've all tried to figure this out. I can't tell you how many videos I've made on the topic trying to explore how to do this. It is now easy and possible. It's so exciting. So how do you use this? There are two code blocks that work with these variables. They are set persistent variable two and get persistent variable. The same ones we've all used and we're all very comfortable with. But if you haven't used them, it's time to start using them. They're on the set or the values tab where you got set to and just below set to you'll see these. For each of these code blocks, you'll just click select persistent variable to choose the variable you want to use. The code block now allows you to see the name of the variable group and then the name of the variable. Okay, so this allows you to set variables for players in your world. So if you have never used these before, you can only affect players who are actively in your world. You cannot change players who are not present. So that's an important thing you need to note. Um, I will note, as I had a chance to use this early on in Horizon Royale's development, that we did go really far with this, tracking a Boolean value, which is zero meaning no and one meaning yes, to track if players had visited certain maps in Horizon Royale. And we had so many persistent variables in use that the scripts were easily reaching 100% capacity. So my recommendation to any of you thinking about using over 50 persistent variables is to create a script that gets the data and then sends it off to some manager that can compile it into a whole list of data because um, the script capacity of getting a persistent variable and setting a persistent variable uses up a lot. So anyway, 
Uh, use with caution. Have fun, but use with caution. Whew. And like you said, join us in Discord to discuss. We are super excited to see what's going to be possible with this new feature. I honestly haven't touched it for a year because I know I'm not supposed to say anything, but they told me they were deleting this a year ago. So I haven't touched it since Horizon Royale. And now I get to play with it again, just with you guys. I found out today too. I'm excited. You can tell I'm excited. I'll see you in Horizon. I will see you when you build. We'll see you in Discord. Bye.